What's going on everybody, your boy Juan Valdez back with another video and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys an exact strategy that anybody can use to make their first $100 a day with Shopify dropshipping. Thank you guys so much for all the support and love. The V fam just crossed 4,000 subscribers, so we're stronger than we were before. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you join the V fam, smash that subscribe button, and become part of the family. To kind of get started, there's been different routes that have been proven and shown to, you know, obviously work to be able to make money with Shopify dropshipping. Now, I want to show you guys an exact strategy that I've used to make more than $100 a day, a strategy that can work for pretty much anyone to either make their first $100 or even make an extra $100 if you're already making money with Shopify dropshipping. So if you guys want to see a lot more videos, of course, on how to make more money with Shopify dropshipping, make sure you drop a like on this video. Of course, if you have any questions about you know this specific strategy on how you can make your first hundred dollars or an extra hundred dollars with Shopify dropshipping drop them in the comments below and I'll be getting back to you guys now one of the first things I look for and that you guys can do is looking at laying out some niches to potentially get into now one of the reasons why I start off by looking at potential niches rather than just products or influencers or things like that is because within the niche first obviously I want to see if I have influencers that I can work with for sure I also want to see how many products within that niche I can obviously sell and promote to you know in my store and that's obviously huge because again a lot of you guys know and what you might have seen one of my previous videos going over the back end strategy but a lot of a lot of the money that I generate with my store now is really on the back end so I'm really not as focused as much on the front end but obviously I do want to make money you know some example niches that you guys can look look into is like the travel niche you know the beauty niche and the fitness niche and just going through them looking to see what what's in there you know what influencers are there what products are there and things like that and that's exactly how it, you know get literally get started with this and then from there if you really can't think of any niches for some reason to just really start looking into I would use AliExpress to spark some ideas. You can go on AliExpress's website and check out the different categories of products that they have. For this specific strategy, we're gonna be starting off, we're gonna start to drive traffic to our stores with Instagram influencers specifically, right? So you wanna make sure that there's obviously options and influencers that you can actually work with. So usually I like to go in there and start looking for multiple influencers in that niche that I'm thinking about. And usually I'll map this all out. Some of you guys may love taking notes on, you know, maybe on Microsoft Word or Google Docs or whatever the case may be. But you wanna have these mapped out just so you can have options, right? And I like to have these mapped out because in case one doesn't work, again, the name of the game is continually test. So for me, if one doesn't work, I have these mapped out. That way I can later then go back and cross that one out and work on the next one, right? And I know what options I have available, right? I'm not thinking in a scarce mindset. I know that if one thing doesn't work, one influencer doesn't work, one product, one niche doesn't work, I have other options. So for me, I like to have them mapped out. You guys can try it out, let me know how that works you want to make sure that that niche has influencers with over a million followers usually more than one that you can potentially work with because usually I've gotten the best results and I've seen other people get the best results with huge and obviously small influencers as well but usually with bigger influencers so you want to make sure you have options there's some niches that I've looked into that did not have you know really big influencers they kind of just had small and medium sized ones and with that I've tested it and I didn't get as good of a result uh, I found the best results to be, you know, with niches that have influencers that range all over. They have small influencers, medium sized influencers, and definitely huge influencers. If you find a niche that for some reason doesn't have like, you know, small influencers, at least make sure that they have really big influencers because those are for sure going to be the ones that you're probably going to get the best results with. I'm not saying to rule out the smaller ones or the medium sized ones, but you definitely want to make sure you at least minimum having uh, huge influencers to work with in that niche. If you can find both of these, find multiple influencers to work in, work with, and influencers that have a million followers in that niche, usually that's a good sign that that niche has a lot of potential because there's a lot of pages for it, right? So one problem that I see people run into that are doing Instagram influencers is that there's they hit a cap where like, they have no more pages to work with and they're like screwed because they've already worked with all the pages that they think they have maxed out on. Make sure that you have 
more than enough influencers because the worst thing that could happen is again you get into a niche where you only you're limited to maybe like 10 influencers you can work with and that's it because then what's going to happen is you're going to hit a cap obviously the game plan isn't to forever only depend on influencers but for this specific strategy and for anyone just getting started uh, you will need a good amount of influencers to you know obviously get the ball rolling so uh, make sure that and that make sure you look out for these two things and again it's a good sign if you find both of these that's what I kind of go by. The next thing you want to do is start looking through these Instagram influencer pages. I usually recommend looking for looking in between 30 to 40 pages and for different reasons, just because you want to have options. You're going to have some pages that aren't legit. Their engagement isn't real. They don't have as many followers, all these different things. So you want to have more options because it's a numbers game, right? You can start going through these Instagram pages and see the posts that other people are paying them to do and get some ideas, right? You can start seeing, okay, they did this recently they did this uh, a few weeks back whatever the case may be they maybe they didn't keep it up but you can start looking through these influencers to see what are the most what are the most common products you see that's actually going into the next part look for the most common products that you see usually within these influencer pages you will see that there's a good amount of these products that are being promoted in these instagram influencer pages that more than one influencer is promoting almost all the time because again you know people love going after different influencers in a different niche so I would literally look for those products and then narrow down those products that you've seen commonly promoted because if multiple influencers are promoting this product, that's a sign that people are making money with that product. And again, I usually like to look for products that other people have are selling and are, have already sold because I know for a fact that I'm going to have my chances of having results and sales with that product are more likely if other people have already sold sold the product so that's just for me what i kind of look out for um you know you're pretty much ready to start selling so of course the process to actually start selling is you need to of course set up start your shopify free trial for those of you guys that haven't got started with shopify you can actually check out a link in the description that i have uh, you can actually use that link to actually get started with a free 14 day trial on shopify and you can literally start playing around with the platform and start getting used to it from there like of course, you're gonna have to import your products and you know get them all set up because you're not gonna you know start driving traffic or promoting your website without it being set up. That would be stupid. Then you want to reach out to again influencer pages, uh, usually 30 to 50 a day if you have the time. If not, do a little bit less. But for sure, the more the better. That's hands down one of the rules I go by. Um, then you want to make sure you're analyzing these pages to make sure they're legit, checking their engagement, checking their social blade to see how their following has been going up and making sure they're not buying followers. That way you don't get scammed, you don't lose any money. You wanna make sure you negotiate because usually nobody puts out their final price out there, right? No matter what. So you can always negotiate a little bit. I know people that have worked on influencers where they end up getting you know, the, the, the posts that they were originally gonna get for like a hundred bucks down cut in half you know, 50 bucks and sometimes even less. So I've seen it happen over and over again. So you wanna make sure that you can, you know, at least try to negotiate. And then after that, of course, you wanna set up your uh, your post for Instagram. Uh, make sure you take the time to set that up correctly using different things. And then, you know, from there, you're pretty much good to go. Have them run the ad, make sure that they actually do run the ad for you, whether it's gonna be either on your story or an actual page post. Make sure you track the sales from the day that you launched the ad until the next day, usually 24 hours is a good time window. And you know, see how it goes. This is a great way for anyone to just get started with Shopify dropshipping or to make an extra few hundred bucks if you're already making money. So if you guys got value from this video, make sure you drop a like. If you guys have any questions about anything that we went over in this strategy of how you can make your first hundred dollars or even an extra hundred dollars a day with Shopify dropshipping, drop them in the comments below. I'll get back to you guys. And if you haven't already, make sure you join the VFAM, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.